Okay, okay, okay. We're on clip 10, the last one of this session. Uh, again, I'm Diane O'Brien. I'm your head hunting housewife, and I've been teaching you um, kind of a quick look into the day in the life of a recruiter. I've had um, a little more than 10 clips. I had to break some down a little bit deeper, but just going through a day in the life of what you would do if you were a home-based recruiter or a headhunting housewife like I've been for many years. Um, and so this is the final one, and this is talking about we've gone through everything from A to Z. You found the client, you found the candidate, you've made the match, you've invoiced it, you're just waiting for the money to come in now. You're going to get a really nice fat check in the mail soon. There's nothing better, again, talking about popping the champagne. I think we've done that twice so far in this process. <laughs> when that check comes in the mail, that's another, get the champagne. Tell your husband, your wife, ready. Um, you know, I guess for me, I think my first check maybe was for 10000 for the first one. They kind of grew from there. Um, but even if it was, you know, I don't know what the check would be. It wasn't even about... It's about the money. I always felt funny saying that. Like, it wasn't even about the money, but it's not. I mean, I think the money, what that meant to me, opening that check, is that I did a good job. The world is rewarding all the work that I've just done. I can do it. I, I, I knew I could do it, and it's kind of a proving to yourself that you can do it. And that's all you need is that first time to know, and if you enjoy the process, then you can keep it going. And that's why this is about life balance. If you did all of this, okay, let's say you did this, and um, and you got the check, so it is great. But it's like, ah, you know, you were sweating it and you didn't give up. Hopefully you're tenacious enough to not give up. If you gave up, okay, that's not a career for you at all. But um, if you didn't give up and you kept doing it, but it was a lot of hard work and you're thinking, eh, you know, instead of hiring accountants or hiring salespeople or whatever, I'm just going to, you know, if I ever go back to corporate America, I'm not going to do a home base. I'll just go back to being a sales rep or being an accountant or, you know, maybe that's just the right fit for you. Um, so really think about that. Don't keep going down a path if it's not if it's not fun. I mean, for me, I always feel like if I'm not having fun, then I don't want to do it. And for many years, I probably, I mean, I don't know, I say I would have done it just for the money, but if I wasn't having fun at it, even the jobs through college, I wouldn't do it. And I can attest to that definitely because there were really good clients. I had good paying clients that often if I didn't really like them or after maybe a little while working with them, for whatever reason, oh, maybe this on the phone, they were like so boring that it put me to sleep or um, I don't know, just never clicked with the person. I often wouldn't want to work those job orders. I wouldn't go after them, even though it was money sitting on the table. Um, I would work a job order for less money often if I knew it was a client that I just like to talk to. I mean, this is my life. These are my days. I'm here to learn. My The bigger picture is learning about life and experiences. I want to make money while I'm doing it. So again, this clip is a little bit more off the off the um, business side, I guess, of now more to, okay, how are you going to balance all this? So A, make sure you're enjoying it, that you want to do it again. I mean, I know I was excited. I had fun during the whole process, and um, the check was just the, the icing on the cake, you know what I mean? But making the whole cake was just as fun, and I think that is, is really important. If the process isn't fun, don't do it. So it is for you, right? So this is it. This is great. You can make money doing this. It's exciting. This is going to open up a whole new world for you. Um, so again, I want to speak to life balance quickly here. And I already spoke a little bit about that. But also setting your timelines and, and, you know, what's important. I think what you'll find, I knew this kind of hit me one Halloween when my little girls were getting ready. And I almost was crying because I had to get a certain job done and couldn't come out of my office. And here again, I was home base, so I was here at home. And the nanny was helping get them ready and um, for Halloween. And then my CEO, my client at the time, went to have a conference call, which irritated me that day, Halloween. I guess he didn't really think of that. But um, And I was just after that thinking, you know what? I should have, looking back, I actually took the call and it was a stressful day. And I came around to enjoy the Halloween with my kids. But I just made a realization um, that day that I wasn't going to do that anymore. That maybe it was because I got lucky enough to be far enough in my career where money wasn't the most important thing. But I would hope I would even have you know come to that conclusion if I was still very money hungry and needing to um, you know pay certain bills or pay off a house or whatever was driving me for the money at that point. And um, but you have to realize you know have what's what are you doing all this for? I mean for me it, it is for my kids and for my family and to create a beautiful peaceful home. Um, and to enjoy the vacations and at a point for the past maybe four or so years, four or five years of taking the summers off. I mean, there are many years I couldn't even fathom that or when I first opened my business, how can I even think of taking a summer off? I'll lose all my clients or such fear in that. And, uh, but your few years, I kind of get my priorities a little more straight. I've only found that life rewards those priorities as I make them and set those standards for myself and what's important to my family. Um, it is true that kind of life in the universe, as I, you always hear Oprah say, or a lot of the gurus out there, um, opens up for you. And again, I could give example after example. If we're just taking, talking a life course here, 
of when you put your mind to something and what's really important, you just things seem to come to you that reward that and that um, and as you dream that up that it happens for you. So just be careful not to forget you are that powerful in your own life and now you've seen what you can do being a recruiter. You're going to be now a stay-at-home or at least a home-based working mom, not really stay-at-home mom, but your home-based um recruiter and uh you know i've seen a lot of recruiters and i think at times i've gone through these phases where you can really build the business up you can i mean there was times where i hired um i had my dad help me with the website i hired my nanny to be a full-time kind of recruiter i hired a neighbor friend where i got the neighbor organization even um template from where my friend dave klein came up with the neighbor the national association of Home based recruiting and um and all that kind of came out of me building building the business because um, it was making a lot of money and, and more money is good. Let's make more. And then, you know, you just get to a point where it's, you're really busy and you don't have time for all the things that you were doing it for. This was for me anyway, um, a means to an end, not saying I didn't love every step of the way, but you know, granted, if I had millions and millions of dollars, um, I don't know if I would be on the phone at my desk versus, um, out with my kids versus my nanny being with my kids. So I had to realize that it was a means to an end, um, or even for right now, to help giving back. I always wanted to give back, but how could I? I was in this roller coaster where I had to hit this certain number. And for me, I did. I, I waited to hit the number before I'm even taking time to, to share this story with you. Um, you know, so for me, just know your life balance. If you're going to give up some of that family time, for me, it was a little bit younger when my kids were really young. I could have a nanny and and uh, I was still there and here at home, so it was great, but I, I had to build my life more, and I wanted to get certain things done first, and I wanted the beach home, and I wanted a pool in the backyard, and, and I wanted college funds to be started before I just put the weight of that on my husband, but but didn't want to give any of the flexibility of the family and to be here for all the important occasions. Um, so just make sure you don't lose sight. As you get successful and get really excited about those checks in the mail, don't lose sight of what you're doing it for is my advice to all the headhunting housewives of the future. And um, and then know that this might just evolve into something else later. That kind of has happened to me throughout my career. And even, again, what brings me into speaking with you and mentoring you now is really a little bit of an evolution um, through all that recruiting role you just went through for years after years very happily and successfully. Um, and you're going to make great income doing it. And then later you might make even more income doing something different, but still in the recruiting field. I've never left recruiting. I've just evolved higher to higher levels of it. Um, and to be more successful, not only with money, I'm right now at this point not making as much money as I was at another point of my career, but um, through my choice completely. Um, you know, it was basically when I saw the time needed, and I, that was the point I wanted to get to. I had um, I learned from other recruiter friends that grew their business. I did the same thing, and then they actually took a lot more employees and got to the point where, for all the time and effort and time away from home and just life that pulled them. You know the the scale of uh, how much more they were earning wasn't really worth it to me. And, and to give you a quick insight, you can be at home, and if you just work a little bit, let's say you're making fifty, sixty, seventy thousand. I mean, you only work a couple jobs, and make only as little as thirty, but pretty easily, I think part time ish hours. When I say part time, maybe thirty to forty. Many people work fifty, sixty hours now. You can make anywhere, I think, from sixty to let's say one twenty is a good range for a home based recruiter. That was kind of my realm for many years, and uh, and as you build the business, it will go over um, one fifty, two hundred, two fifty. Um, sales source, I think, brought in um, it was under four three fifty three. I can't remember exactly how high. Um, and met, I have many recruiting friends that stay at that level, but they're not living a life that I would ever want. They're they're at their desk right now as we're speaking, um, stressing out and um, having health issues and don't know what's going on with their kids. So you can get to a very good, again, stay at that. I find that sweet spot um, when you're at that range that you control, but it's enough, you know. I mean, I kind of never lost that sight of what was enough for me from the very beginning. Um, so anyway, I'm just, this one's kind of going to be the longest of all my clips because it's the most important, I think. Don't lose sight of what all this is for. Enjoy the money, but more so take the money and enjoy life. Enjoy the vacations, the travel, the fun with your kids, the freedom you've now created for yourself. So I hope you've enjoyed this. You're probably sick of hearing me talk. I know I am, but I'm done. I'm glad I'm getting this out there. Hopefully one day you'll be able to see this. Um, I guess YouTube will probably be the quickest things with nowadays technology or Skype or I don't, I don't know how I'll do it. So um, good luck, and I hope to hear from you all. Bye.